Hello, welcome back to another um, question uh, to be solved by Matt and Lloydie. Please subscribe, please subscribe. You'll see on the thumbnail, we're only at 183. Uh, I'd love to get to 1,000 by the end of the calendar year, so please help me by getting other people to subscribe, even if you just mute those notifications. Okay, question four. Estimate, love this, Fermi estimation. Estimate how many hours of sleep the average person in the UK has in their lifetime. Not too sure why the UK bit is relevant, but there we go. Um, state any assumptions you make. I guess with the lifetime bit, it's about um, an approximate estimated average age. So my first, and you've got to state your assumptions. My first assumption is average age. And we'll go with 70. Um, I know that there's tragedies uh, where people are a bit younger when they pass, or some people live to quite a grand age. So 70 is fine. Hours sleep, average hours sleep. Now, you're listening to a father of two daughters under the age of two. So I'm going to uh, <laughs> go with seven hours. For me, that's seven hours at best. And anyone that's getting more than seven hours, do not comment and say that you are because that is just going to make me jealous. Okay, so there's my two assumptions. Um, we then need to get into the calculating. So we've got seven hours per day. There are 365 hours in a day, see, 365 days in a year. So that's going to give me the total amount of sleep in one year. And then we just multiply that by the average age. So even if your assumptions are different, uh, this number might be different. This number might be different, but the key is to multiply them all together. So seven hours sleep over 365 days, and then multiply that by the 70 years. That gives me 178,850 hours, 178,850. Now, you may not get the exact answer, what I've got, but so long as your assumptions are not too far away from what I've done, you'll be fine. Now, 365, from marking the, some of these papers, that is the most common mistake. Some people will, to be honest, I could write it as an assumption that, that in a year, there's 365 because some of you may be saying, well, it's 365.25 because of a leap year. If you want to go into that level of detail, I'm pretty sure that the examiners for this will be fine with it um, because as long as you've shown that that's what you're going to do, that's OK. It's all about being communicative with your exam marker to tell them what you're doing. Your layout's really important as well. So make sure that you've laid everything out neatly. The assumptions are easy to find, although I've not labeled my assumptions. You can see that they are clearly there before I go into the calculation. So make sure that you're our responses are very, very clear. Right. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, please, as I said, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next question.